Hey, welcome to episode 6 of Box Art Reviews. This time, I don't have many games, many, not many games are coming out this uh, week, so just like every other week, to be honest, really this whole freaking series so far hasn't had many big games, but uh, soon there will be big ones, but right now, there's only a few blah ones. So let's go on to probably the biggest release of this week, which really isn't that big. Let's just go on to it, which is... Sing It Family Hits. Now, I played the first Sing It. Yes, I played the first Sing It. And it was by Disney, so everybody was probably thinking, just like me, that you get to actually sing some of these cartoons, like you see on the cover. And this one, and you couldn't. You sung like Miley Cyrus and freaking Jonas Brothers and all that shit. So this time, they actually, looks like they actually got Lion King and freaking Akuna Matata, all that bullshit, and uh, all that music from all those animated movies we all love. So that's pretty cool, but the box art itself is pretty okay, I guess. I mean, it's a blue background, not a surprise there, but it has like film reels, and it has all the animated Disney films, they have Cars, they have freaking Aladdin, Cinderella, Toy Story, Little Mermaid, they got Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book, Lion King, they got all a whole bunch of games, I'm guessing. I mean, a whole bunch of songs in this, I'm guessing. Unless it's like 10, then never mind. So, yeah, it looks cool. But the box art itself is pretty mediocre. It's okay. If I had to give it a score, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, not bad. So let's go on to the next one, which is... Mystery Tales Time Travel. Now, I have one problem with this case already, and it is the actual time travel part of it. You can barely see it. I, at least I can. I can barely see it. When it's a little picture like this, like, you know, I'm looking at it on my Windows Movie Maker, which has a little picture displayed, and you can barely see the time travel because it kind of blends in with the background and the top of this girl's head. And now let me talk about the rest of it, okay? It's pretty bland stuff. Now, obviously it's time travel, so I'm guessing this girl's going back in time and getting all this stuff like uh, the statue and Sphinx and freaking a skull or something, a book, a magnifying glass, I don't know, it didn't really sell us on the time traveling part, I mean, they, I mean, Genghis Khan and freaking do some Bill and Ted, come on, get freaking Abraham Lincoln and Mozart, I mean, not Mozart, uh, Beethoven, get, to, get some cool people, get freaking a statue and Sphinx, uh, who, who gives a damn about those freaking fucking pieces of material shit, anyway, I'm just saying, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, this girl's reading a book, and she's, you know, it looks like it's a good book, so I guess I can't say much about that. So, you know, it's a good book. So if you want to go and read good books, or and go time travel and actually meet absolutely no one important, then go ahead, go get this game, because you probably like it. Let's go on to the next cover. Oh, let me give this a score. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It's bland, but not terrible. Let's go on to the next cover art, which is... Monster Rancher DS. Now, uh, I don't know why I did it like that. Monster Rancher DS. Now, if anybody knows Monster Rancher, I don't, so I can't really explain it to you. I never played a Monster Rancher game. I never watched the show if there was a show. I don't know. So you have a whole bunch of cute little Pokemon-esque kind of characters on there, and you have, you have a big yellow blob testicle thing with a mouth. It looks like one of those minions from Despicable Me. Uh, you got a, a pink guy. You got a blue guy. You got a red guy. You got a whole bunch of freaking vibrant colored characters. You got some guy in the background that looks like he has shades on. He's a big block of stone. I don't know. It's bluish, greenish background, So and it's yellowish also, so I have to give it that. It has a different kind of looking background, and it looks vibrant. It definitely looks pretty vibrant, so I can't give it a bad score. I, you know, I'd give it a six, and uh, you know, I'll just give it a six. It, it's an okay looking box art, so let's go on to the next one, which is Alter Ego. Now, this box art, I have to admit, is pretty funny. <laughs> I gotta admit, it's pretty funny. First of all, you got two guys looking up at wh whoever knows. I don't know. They're trying their hardest to look evil. You got some gentleman looking guy, and you got some freaking uh, regular old. He, it looks like a guy with some grandma hat on, and it looks like one of those. Atta I, I don't know what those hats are called, but it looks like it, except it just looks like a grandma hat. I don't know. And he's like looking all evil, and the gentleman guy's looking all evil. It looks like they're about to go and freaking double team some guy and freaking beat the living hell out of him. I don't know. It, they, I don't know what they're looking up at, but uh, I don't know. It looks like Face Off. If you ever seen the poster for Face Off, it looks like that. At least from what I remember, it looks it looks just like that. So. Yeah, uh, and I don't know what the hell's going on in the background. It looks like a coffin or something. I can't really tell. Uh, and it's a black background. At least it's black, so whatever. It's pretty hilarious. It's this guy. It's just two guys looking, trying their hardest to look evil. So, you know what? 
Oh, and by the way, the tagline is hilarious. When evil has more than one face, you need more than one perspective. Alter ego. I, I don't know. what I, you know, I'll give it a five because it's actually kind of amusing and it's actually somewhat different, but <laughs> it's not a very good box art. So let's go on to our last one and probably the best one out of all of them, which is... Thor the Explorer's Big Birthday Adventure. Now, I had to talk about this one because it looks so good. I mean, it has the colorful little background and stuff. You got trees walking just like in Lord of the Rings. You got some yellow guy in the background. I can't tell if he's like a bear or something. I can't really tell. No, that's a, that's a cow guy, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, you got Boots there dancing. You got Thor dancing and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> you know what? I won't even say it's that bad because I, I don't even know why I'm reviewing this, to be honest. It's by 2K Play. I guess that's a different version of 2K, I guess, for the DS games, for all these freaking Door Explorer games, I'm guessing. You got a rainbow in the background. You got the obvious looking Door to Explorer cover art. So. Yeah, it's not very good looking. It looks retarded. It, it does. It looks like it's going to be a terrible side scroller or something, or it's like a freaking color book game or something. I don't. I don't know what the hell it is. So you know what? I'll just give it a. I'll give it a three out of ten. It looks. <laughs> it looks retarded. Anyway, I'm done. So yeah, episode six. Very very boring. I know. Not a very good show. But you know, not many big games coming out this week. Next week, I don't think there's big games coming out next week either. Uh, I, I thought I heard Kane and Lynch got pushed back a uh, week, but I guess that was a lie, or I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, until next week, uh, goodbye, and go pick this game up, because it's amazing. It's an amazing game. Go, pay, go pick it up. It's a great. Big birthday fucking blowjob. Anyway, I'm done. Bye.